In this session, we look at how to add markups and issues to the sheet. Firstly, note that there are two ways to view the sheets in the folder, by grid and by list. In the list view, only a certain amount of information about the sheets is visible. But when changing to the grid view, other information such as a thumbnail and how many issues and markups are on the sheet are visible. Let's open the sheet. Looking at the manager's office, there is a space to the right which is currently open and needs to be closed off to create a new room. Selecting Add New Markup, using the freehand markup tool with a red colour and a thicker line weight, a new wall is drawn. To add some extra detail, a text node is also entered. Other markup drawing tools can be used such as rectangle, oval and cloud, as well as an arrow. I've decided that the text note requires little more detail. Fortunately, existing markup elements can be edited before permanently saving. When satisfied with the markups, pressing done will save the changes. The markups are found in the markups panel. We can see that the markup which was just added is recorded against the current version of the sheet, which is version 2. As the markup has been resolved, its issue can be changed to close. We can see some markups which have already been closed for previous versions. Changing to the issues panel shows us that this sheet already has some issues, but we are going to record a new one in the workroom. We start by placing a marker where the issue exists. In this case, it's towards the end of the workbench. If the issue is not ready to be fully submitted, it can remain in a draft state. We then fill out the title, description, and location. Then we assign the issue to the responsible party to correct. In this case, one of the contractors. and we also assign a date the resolution is due by. The issue is added to the list. Selecting the issue, we can see its full details, and it is now ready to have its status set to open. When doing so, the issue history is updated to reflect this change. A different issue has already been addressed and the status changed to answered. This is now ready for final approval by the inspector before the issue is permanently set to closed. Back in the folder list, the issue and markup counts have been incremented to account for the new information we just recorded.